Welcome to an advanced clinical care tutorial. This series of tutorials will cover aspects of caring for patients with complicated HIV and TB disease in Department of Health facilities in South Africa, compiled by the NICD and the National Department of Health and facilitated by Dr. Madeleine Muller, Clinical Advisor for Beyond Zero. This is the first module of eight modules on the prevention, identification and management of cryptococcal meningitis. This module will cover key aspects of the fungus called cryptococcus. Cryptococcus is an ubiquitous fungal pathogen found in soil in the environment all around us. 80% of us have already been exposed to it by the age of two with detectable antibodies in the blood. This is a latent infection similar to latent TB, but Reactivation of latent infection occurs among HIV-infected persons with severe immunosuppression, usually seen in CD4 counts under 200, with the most common presentations in CD4s less than 100. It is important to note that cryptococcus is not passed from person to person, but is something that we pick up from our environment. But similarly to TB, the primary infection makes a granuloma in the lung where it lays latent. Once it's reactivated in somebody who has a poor immunosuppression, it can spread to other organs in the body, such as the brain, joints and bone, but it has a particular affinity for the brain where we see it in cryptococcus meningitis. Once the cryptococcus has been activated, it creates a cryptococcal antigenemia in the blood. This can be detected through a cryptococcal antigen test. At first, it is asymptomatic. This asymptomatic clinical phase can vary from 5 days to 200 days, but it has an average of only 22. That means from the moment that the cryptococcus is reactivated in the blood to disseminate a disease can take as little as 3 weeks. The majority of patients with a cryptococcus antigen in the blood will progress to disseminate a disease. It's just a matter of time, with the most common presentation being cryptococcal meningitis. In 2013, 6,000 cases of cryptococcal meningitis were diagnosed through using NHLS data looking at lumbar punctures. But if we look at the prevalence of patients with a positive CRAG, we can assume that as many as 20,000 to 25,000 people develop cryptococcal meningitis in South Africa every year. The estimated mortality at 12 weeks is approximately 60% in routine care. It is therefore essential that we detect cryptococcus early in patients with low CD4 counts and manage them appropriately to prevent cryptococcal disseminated disease. Prevention will be covered in Module 2. Thank you. Thank you for joining us.